It's summer. That means it feels like the surface of the sun outside my house, and it also means it's time for homeschool planning. Hi everyone, I'm Pam Barnhill, and I have helped thousands of homeschoolers create doable systems, beat burnout, and bring more joy to their homeschool day. Welcome back to my channel. If you like homeschool hacks, tips, and helps, be sure to hit subscribe and the little button to get notified whenever I have a new video. Okay, we're bringing you another ChatGPT video today. This one is all about how to use ChatGPT to help you write a lesson plan when you can't find one for a subject that you want to do in your homeschool. So let me give you an example. A couple of years ago, my son really wanted to study herptology, um, which is like the study of reptiles and amphibians and things like that. And I searched all over for a really good unit study, but there wasn't one that focused on like the lizards and the reptiles that you could actually bring into your home and raise. And he wanted to know all about the feeding and the care of those and something about the different kinds and their life cycles and, and all of those things. And so it would have been really helpful to me at that point to have ChatGPT to help me put a study together. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I would go about putting together that herpetology study today and then I also give you a brief demonstration of how you might do a geography study for a seven-year-old. Now there are lots of geography studies out there but that doesn't mean they necessarily mesh up with what you want to do. So before you go out and spend a lot of money on a geography study that has a bunch of things that you don't need or don't want, it might be good to just start by asking ChatGPT and you can save yourself a little money by putting something together on your own. All right, so let's dive in. Hey, hey. Okay, so let's see how ChatGPT does helping us create a lesson plan list or a, a list of lesson plans that we could do at any given time. And a lesson plan list is something that we teach in our autopilot planning course. Basically, it is a series of of different lesson plans that you don't put dates on. And so when it's it's time to do science, you simply pick up your lesson plan list and you do the next lesson. All right, so let's see how it does. So we, we're first of all telling it what its role is, your homeschool coach and mentor. And we do this because we don't want it acting like a school teacher, right? This is not a set of lesson plans for an entire class. This is a homeschooling lesson plan. And sometimes ChatGPT does a great job in knowing the difference. And sometimes it needs a little extra help in knowing that we homeschoolers don't do things like they do them at school. So next, we're going to tell it to write a set of lesson plans, because this is actually multiple lesson plans, for a course in herptology for a 13-year-old with an interest in reptiles, especially ones that can be kept at home. So now we're telling it the age of our child and what the topic is. The course should be 16 weeks long, that's about a semester, and can include resources like books, websites, videos, educational games, and more. Make the activities a combination of reading, watching, writing, and hands-on activities, experiments, and observations. Okay, so we've been pretty detailed in what we want. Let's see how it does. Okay, so it seems to have gotten stuck. So let's tell it to continue. Okay, so as you can see, it's given us a few different books and resources to use, and it's also given us some different ideas. Now, it has not done all the work for us, so we are going to have to continue creating our own lesson plan list by doing deeper research into each and every week. And so it, it do, has not 100% does the work for you. But if you are starting from the very beginning with something like a herpetology for a middle schooler, and I know that there's nothing out there, there were no unit studies out there that I could find or anything like that, then it gives you a good place to start. It gives you some ideas like, oh, we're going to select a pet reptile. We're going to uh, research about setting up and maintaining a terrarium. We're going to look at their behavior. We're going to think about diet and nutrition. You're going to have to deep dive into more of these topics to find more resources, but it definitely gives you a place to start for 
all of these different things if you're trying to put your own course together. Okay, real quick, let's try one more and let's do something just a little, maybe more generic. Let's do a set of lesson plans for a course in US geography or let's maybe a seven-year-old and we're just gonna take out all of that information right there. And we're gonna say the course should be, let's say 28 weeks long. Okay, and let's see what, what it comes up with. So already I'm seeing some great resources that I'm already aware of, things that are I already know. Um, let's tell it to continue. Sometimes it gets stuck. It really does not want to give us anything past 10 weeks. <laughs> I do believe it's telling us, oh, 10 weeks is about long enough for a child to study U.S. geography. So if you really wanted to, you could break this up and you could take the week one stuff and you could do it over the course of two weeks. And it's even given us some ideas. And so we would have to go see, is this vi video actually available on YouTube? I know me on the map is 100% available. So you would still have to find some resources, but this is a pretty good outline of a course that you could do in your homeschool with your seven-year-old and just really have a good time enjoying learning about the, the United States geography. So once again, not a bad job and it definitely gives you a place to start. Okay, there you have it. Now those were just a couple of little examples of how you might use ChatGPT to start helping you brainstorm and outline a lesson plan or a series of lesson plans that you could do in your home to study whatever topic that you and your children might be interested in. Now remember, we have ChatGPT modules for seven of the modules and Put Your Homeschool Year on Autopilot where we show you exactly how to use use ChatGPT to help you make your homeschool planning so much faster and maybe even think of some things that you haven't thought of before. We give you the prompts and then I also have videos where I walk through and show you exactly how to get the results you want using the AI. So that is available with Put Your Homeschool Year on Autopilot. And hey, if you're watching this video before June 30th, 2023, we have a fabulous bonus with Put Your Homeschool Year on Autopilot this year. It's our How to Homeschool Multiple Kids workshop. So when you purchase Autopilot before June 30th, you get the workshop. It's a two-part live workshop. You'll have access to the replays forever and ever. You get that absolutely free. It's with a mom of 10, Heather Tully, and we have a, a method that we're calling Flock, the Flock method, to help you homeschool multiple kids in your homeschool without losing your mind. So do come on over to pambarnhill.com autopilot to check that out.